Okay, here we go. Our, again, urinary system review number one right here. Uh, let's start off with just the general processes of glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption, and tubular secretion. In general, zoom on in here. In general, glomerular filtration is removing materials from the blood. Approximately twenty percent of the plasma that passes through the glomerulus is lost as filtrate with each pass. Uh, the pressure inside the glomerulus is approximately three times higher than a so-called normal blood capillary, uh, and the uh, plasma is swept through the nephron as filtrate 60 times per day. So throughout the day, we're constantly monitoring and adjusting the uh, excess that's found inside the bloodstream. Uh, the blood coming in, the afferent arterial, we can say it's got the normal amount of materials and excess. The excess could be anything in excess, whether it's good or bad, water-soluble vitamins, glucose, or waste products. Waste products are definitely in excess. And with the uh, glomerular filtration right here, what happens is the smaller objects, things lower or smaller than 5 nanometers, are, pu are pushed through the filtration membrane and they become filtrate. Approximately 180 liters per day are produced or 125 milliliters per minute. So glomerular filtration is the process of pushing that material out of the blood using this higher blood pressure. And the speed at which it happens is called the glomerular filtration rate. Now the blood that was passed through the glomerulus lost plasma to this filtrate space. And that filtrate again represents the normal concentration of materials in the plasma and the excess. Now the blood coming out in the efferent arterio is basically poor in the sense that it just lost a lot of things, good and bad things, but this uh, efferent arterial turns around and becomes part of the peritubular capillaries. And in the peritubular capillaries, this material will be returned. Well, 99% of the material will be returned back to the peritubular capillaries. So in essence, you borrow this fluid and its contents and you return the normal amount of uh, nutrients, electrolytes, and other solutes such as that, and you want to skim off the excess and that's what you want to throw away. So the excess becomes the urine that you produce and the average individual produces about 1.5 liters of urine a day and that's from the 180 liters of filtrate that are produced per day. Again, of the 180 liters of filtrate produced per day, approximately 99% will be returned right back to the blood. So the 1.5 liters of urine represents approximately 1% of the glomerular filtration rate on a daily basis. Uh, as far as um, the effect of glomerular filtration, it is to take things out of the blood and put it into the filtrate. The main effect of tubular reabsorption is to take things out of the filtrate and return it to the blood. And the process of tubular secretion is more of a two-way street. It has an opportunity to once again take things out of the blood or to add things to the blood to help maintain some normal levels. The most uh, common example would be pH, adding or subtracting hydrogen ions in order to try to control the pH of the blood.